Hey, this one's pretty exciting. This is a SM Fit Act unboxing video. Ho ho ho. It's once again another like quick and dirty video. I was way too excited than I should have been when I was making this. So the area where I recorded in was my desk and I was in the middle of rebuilding my PC and it all looks like shitty and it's like, what, like 12 a.m. I think it was? And some of the information was missing because of the placement of my camera, so I'll be sure to display that on the screen when the timing is appropriate. So just to clear up that when that starts showing up. That's all. Enjoy the video. It's pretty exciting to have this stuff. There's also an archive.org link in the description of the contents that I extracted from the disc. If you want to check those out, see how it differs from the one that Izo gave me firsthand. It's not too different, but there's some stuff in there. Besides that, though, here it is. So this, this was shipped internationally. This is actually from Germany. Here it is. So take it out. So this is completely sealed. It's literally untouched. I know I paid a slightly uncomfortable amount of money for this, but you know, it's 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 uh, it's it's fine. Uh, some fit act calibration, whatever the hell that means. It's got some serial numbers and all that. Well, I guess I guess it has been opened. This, this, in the photos was fully on there, but, you know. <sighs> this thing's old, man. This, this kind of sucks. I wish this was in better condition for, you know, for the sake of keeping it around. SM Fit Act Calibration, your complete monitor control and calibration software package. Oh, boy. Original industrial software. Well, unfortunately, it's being used by a fucking nerd. If I can get this damn thing open. Oh, boy. Woo! Shit! I'm gonna smell it. It smells very industrial. So there's paper here. What does it say? Certific- Oh, X-Rite, okay. Oh man. Certification of calibration. X-Rite Incorporated cert certifies- It's a little late. Certifies this instrument meets or exceeds published specifications applying to this instrument on the date it was calibrated. The instrument has been calibrated using standards whose accuracies are traceable to the standards listed in the product specification. The calibration is performed to these standards using equipment Qualified at x rite to meet the specification for this instrument. It may use secondary instruments and qualified illuminants. Feels like I'm reading one of the fucking amendments. Calibration date, March 12th, 2007. So its anniversary just came up recently. A little over a month ago at the time of this recording. And there is another paper here. Also, I do apologize for like the, the, the weird spot that I'm doing this at. I don't really have much desk space right now, and this is kind of all I have for uh, unboxing something like this at the moment. Siemens SM Fit Act Calibration Installation Note. When first installing SM Fit Act Calibration, a password will be required. Additionally, when starting the program in service mode, the same password will be required to access the service functionality. Install password, Mona Lisa. Why is that the fucking thing they use? I do not get it. Anyways, for certain OEM customers, a customer-specific install password may have been created. This unique password is only for installation of the software. The service mode password is the same as shown above. This unique password is identical to the download password provided. To obtain the specific password, contact your Siemens Display Technology Sales Manager. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I definitely will after this video. I'll make sure I call them. Warning, case should be taken to control release and distribution of the service password. With service level access, calibration and other settings can be altered. Standard users should not have this level of access. Therefore, the password should not be distributed, and this form should be filed accordingly. Why well, ain't no standard user? Insert to Siemens SM Fit Act, June 2004. Copyright Siemens AG 2004 for additional installation or technical support. Siemens.com slash displays. Oh boy. So I guess this copy is from 2004. I think the one that I have that I got from ISO themselves. I believe that one specifically is from 2008, I think. So there's, this This is the thing I was the most excited for. So I'm, I'm immediately gonna just look at this. So this is the serial luminance meter. It's got RS-232 female. It is in flawless condition. I see literally no imperfections on this thing whatsoever. No scratches on the plastic here, it's completely clean. This looks great. What is this, uh? Gre Gretag Macbeth, what? Okay, put that to the side. I don't know, What? what is this? What is this? This is like, this feels like it's made of like hard clay or like rubber. 
Like, what is this? And then it was in this. What is this? Does this go in here? Ah, oh, I see. I see what this is. Okay. Okay, gotcha. It took me a second. Yeah, so this this is the weight to hold the luminance meter on the on the monitor. So you'd have this, if I place it in like a better spot, and if I also managed to actually get the fucking thing on the cable, you would actually just place this, usually on top of like the bezel, and then have this sit on, you know, the test pattern that you're, that you're reading or whatever it may be. So that's what that is. So I guess this is just a holder for it. Um, it's really just plastic. It's got like a nice foam bottom here for some, uh, for some friction so it doesn't slip around. Also just feels really nice with that too. And then there's also this thing right here. This is a serial adapter. It's from RS-232 to, uh, I think there's like a DIN connector. So I think this one was more so used for, um, like server related stuff because when I got the SMM, uh, 21201P, I actually did have this little thing come in as well where it had, it had the RJ11 to the female version of that guy right there. So it seems like this is just for like service stuff. I think this is also good if you want to schedule uh, readings with the luminance meter. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that, so I'm not going to be utilizing this. I'm obviously not going to throw this away. Why the fuck would I? But probably not going to use it. And then, damn. <laughs> now that's that's kind of it. So now we uh, there we go. Here she is. Woohoo! SM Fit Act calibration version 3.4. Let's open her up. Ooh, baby. That's nice. I like that. Oh, this says 2007. Okay. I mean, it's just version 3.4. Yeah, if I recall, actually, 3.4 sounds very familiar. So I think this is actually the same version that I got from ISO. So this might honestly just be like the last version of the software. It was probably distributed pretty early on since everything I've been able to find has been with this version specifically. And I'll actually do a quick check as well on what I have. Yeah, R3.4. So yeah, it's the same version. So it's, it's good to have a copy. I, I will, um, just in case, like extract all the info on this disc for obvious reasons. One, because, you know, it's nice to get it from a physical copy in person rather than just like a copy from ISO. And it might include some stuff that the ISO copy didn't. I don't know for sure, probably not, but if it does, you know, nice to have, nice to have. Regardless, it's, it's nice to have. It's just nice to have a physical copy of this for sure. It's very, uh, very satisfying. Very happy to just have this right here. That's the disc. Uh, besides that, it's just, you know, foam. I don't know if there's anything under here I can... Yeah, it's, 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 it's try not to give, so. That is that. That is that. Very happy with this. Very, very happy. That's the probe. That is the serial cable that comes from it. I'm so excited to use that thing. I am so excited to use that. That is the plastic holder for it. That is the weight. That's the uh, serial to uh, DIN adapter thingy. The paperwork. Just like that on a little nice package right there. That is a original packing of SM Fit Act. Basically unopened. I mean, the probe is untouched. The disc looks untouched. The case look a little bit iffy, but the disc is untouched. I just wanted to document the uh, unboxing of this very special package. I'm gonna be going in depth with the luminance meter as well since we finally got that now. I can I can go over that section of SM Fit Act now with that. And I also have one of the landscape monitors. So we're going to go through that as well. We're gonna have a whole dedicated video. I also do need to do the luminance adjustment on that one because it has drifted from what I can tell because the hours are somewhat high. I, I would say high. I wouldn't say somewhat high. They're, they're pretty high. It's not bad, especially with, with a dispenser cathode in a, in a monitor like that. But that luminance meter will definitely help me correct that and make it look probably good as new, if I'm going to be totally honest. So that is one of the main motivators on why I got that. Plus, just to access that part of the software for, you know, documentary sake. It's going to be more down the road. It's going to be very exciting. That is SM Fit Act. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys, uh, and whatever the fuck comes out next with this stuff.